On behalf of those assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Mina Bissell, to address convocation. Hello. It's my pleasure and my honor to start by thanking Dr. Allison Allen, Professor, Department of Cell and Anatomy at Western for her kind introduction. Chancellor Hassenfrotz, President Shepard, faculty members, graduates and distinguished guests, I'm deeply honored to receive this honorary doctorate from Western and I feel privileged to be sharing this experience with you. <laughs> I really feel that I give a lot of depth, depth to academia in US. I was born in Iran long time ago before the Shah of Iran fell. I came to US at the age of 17 to study and I was very lucky to be able to go to a wonderful, wonderful uh, college called Bryn Mawr, which probably not very many of you have heard about, but it's one of the seven sister colleges and it's in Philadelphia. I owe a great, great debt to my professor, Professor Anne Bertoff, who taught me English. And I really want to encourage all of you, read literature. It's good for you. It's good for writing grants. It's good for getting money. It's really important. Without her, I honestly don't know if I had gotten where I got, which may not be that high, but it's certainly good for me. And I, <laughs> and I feel that I have achieved some of my very important goals because years ago, somebody wrote an essay about me calling me wife, mother, scientist. It enraged the women. They said, why in that order? I said, why does it matter? It's perfectly okay. I have now four grandchildren. They are wonderful. The oldest is 20, 20, my goodness. She'll be, <laughs> she'll be 21 in two more days. That's amazing. I just had not remembered that. Well, my, my advice to the graduates is you have to learn, and I know this is not very Canadian, but you really have to be able to be bold. And if authorities offend you, as the political system in US offends me, <laughs> I, <laughs> I shouldn't be saying these things, but <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not Canadian, so I'm not as polite and as, <laughs> as reserved, so I hope you forgive me. But it is really important to challenge. It's important to vote. Please vote. And I'm really congratulating you for your election. I think that was a good outcome. I shouldn't suppose to say that either. <laughs> but I really am one of these people who speaks from the heart. So go forward, graduates. Achieve what you want. You can. You only have one good life. You might as well do something very good with it. And you, I urge you to have empathy. I urge you to have sympathy with those who need help. And I urge you to help your fellow graduates and at the same time, anybody who comes in your path, you might as well have affection for them. You might as well help them to get where they need to go and that will stand 
in your good stead for years and years to come. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you.